Are you thinking about moving to Lafayette, Louisiana? Or maybe you're already living here and you wanna know which neighborhoods to avoid. Well, I'm going to reveal today the five most dangerous neighborhoods in Lafayette. And trust me, this is information that you do not want to miss. Hey everyone, in case you all don't know me, I am Drake Apsher, your local real estate expert here in Lafayette, Louisiana. And whether you're looking to buy, to sell, or just looking to learn more about our city, my channel is here to help you so you can stay informed, make good decisions. Now, today we're gonna to be talking all about safety which is of course it's it's crucial right for anyone wanting to move to an area or just know about an area if they're even gonna vacation there so when you're choosing to live in a certain place you want to know everything about it let's go ahead and dive in Now, before I dive into it, I just want you guys to be aware that of course I am relaying information. I am not actually trying to sway you. I am gonna present facts and information that I've gathered from various websites online. This is not my personal opinion about these places. So do not think I'm trying to steer you in a different direction. Just wanna provide you guys valuable information that's helpful. So here we go, number five, Freetown, Port Rico. Now, overall Freetown, Port Rico is a historic neighborhood. A lot of people know it for its vibrant culture, the vibrant colors, the older homes and historic homes that it has there, but it's also known for some higher crime rates, uh, particularly related to property crimes like theft, there's vandalism, and you will see those things when you're driving through the area. So it's actually located not far from downtown Lafayette, just southeast of the downtown area. This area is really close to university and a lot of really popular hangouts that you might know from that area, not far from also UL. Approximately there's about 2,000 residents that live in that neighborhood. Most recent reports that we were able to find have shown that there are higher incidences of property crimes in that area, especially crimes uh, during the weekends. I guess when people are out and about or maybe in the nighttime, people are off work and people may be roaming the street. But also the crime trends, they really see a lot of petty thefts. There's uh, vehicle break-ins that seem to happen that are becoming more and more common. So when you're in these areas, it can be busy, especially around event times. So those are times and things that you want to be aware of. Mardi Gras parades, different festivals that we have downtown. So these might be areas you might not want to choose to park in. And then also just to be aware, if you do move to those areas, obviously, you know, there's safety measures that you can take in place to make it more fitting. Number four would be the Truman area. It is a residential area and we have seen some issues with some crime in there, including both property and there's also been violent crimes to be aware of. So it's located really on the northwest side of downtown Lafayette and Truman is a small neighborhood uh, with a really tight knit community you can say. The area is home to about 2,500 residents. We know that there have been some increase in some of the burglaries and also a few reports and assaults over the past year. A lot of the crime trends that we see in that area and what we've seen reported on have been such things such as break-ins that tend to occur and they're often many times in the daytime. Many people would think that those things are, are often happening in the night but many it's daytime actually when residents are away at work. So again things you want to be aware of but what are some things that you could do to protect yourself well you know security alarms cameras keeping things out of vision or easy access to making sure you lock up everything well next up would be Laplace not to be confused actually with Laplace Louisiana that is a city over located by New Orleans this is not what we are discussing Laplace is actually a neighborhood uh, it's another area that has a history of higher crime rates in Lafayette including some gang activity and maybe some drug related activity that we're also seeing reports or that we also heard of it's situated on the northeastern side of Lafayette. Laplace is close to some of the city's industrial areas as well. So there's warehouses and different industries and businesses in that area. When you drive through, that's what the, the vibe that you can expect is a mix of residential and industrial. Now, there's approximately about 3,000 people that actually live in these neighborhoods. So uh, there are quite a few people in just such a small area. Now, the crime stats the neighborhood has experienced would be a rise in both violent crimes and drug-related offenses. So these are things really to be aware of. The two usually tend to go hand in hand in, in various areas. So uh, drug related activities is what you can expect from the, the crime trends. And it's been particularly concerning because it's contributing to the overall crime rate of the area. So, you know, things to be aware of, but you want to know these things before you choose that area. Next up would be Simcoe. Simcoe is also known for its higher crime rates, especially in related to things such as robberies, there's assaults. It really makes it one of the more dangerous areas in the city. Simcoe is related to the 
location of the actual street, which is Simcoe Street and Evangeline Thruway. It's a major corridor that goes through Lafayette. And so that's where you would find its location. It's right off of downtown, really not far. And the population in that area is really around 4,500 residents. So there's really a lot of homes that kind of pack into that location and they kind of surround the different area. The higher crime rates that we're seeing, of course, are gonna be violent crimes. There's things, it's robberies. And there's also been some reported, particularly in the commercial areas as well. There's a lot of businesses and restaurants. There's some clubs and bars that are all in those areas as well. So, you know, there are still opportunities, you know, for different crimes to happen, even if you have a commercial business. So even if you're only looking for personal residents, even if you're thinking about opening a business in those areas, those are other things to be aware of. Fences mean need to have cameras, all of those things to really ensure that you're able to protect your, your business property. Now, the trends that we're seeing are nighttime crimes, especially around the businesses. And there's also the convenience stores that are also really more prevalent in that area. There's all those stores may sometimes have some loitering or some people that are hanging out in that area. So those are also things to really be aware and be in to keep in mind. Also, this is not a crime, but we have seen a lot of litter in some of these areas too. So another thing to keep in mind, they're not some of the cleanest that you'll see across Lafayette. Last but not least would be number one, which would be the Macomb Vise area. This one's topping the list as a neighborhood that has been associated with a significant amount of crime challenges, particularly violent crimes and drug related activities. As I said, those two usually go together. And of course, all of these things you can check by news stories. You can go and uh, check with the local police department and you'll be able to read all of these things and understand uh, why these areas are listed the way that they are. It is located near downtown. It's close to the university and other central areas of downtown. Now the population is about 3,500 residents that live in that neighborhood. And uh, we've seen uh, a significant increase in the past few years of violent crimes that happen in these areas, including shootings, there's been assaults. And of course, you know, the, the crime trends are drug related. Many, many are drug related. There are violent instances uh, that have been happening on the rise. And so really it makes a neighborhood that you really want to be cautious, especially after dark. Now, again, this is not something where we're trying to fear monger. We're just telling you exactly the things you need to know and how you can keep yourself and your property safe. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. But remember, knowing which areas to avoid is just as important as knowing where are the best areas to live in. So if you're thinking about moving to Lafayette or if you're already here and you're looking for a safer place to live, reach out to me and my team. We would love to connect with you and help you with your move or your selling of your home. But if you're choosing the right place to live in in Lafayette. We know it's a big decision and safety is always going to be key for you. So feel free to reach out to me. You can call or you can text me anytime so that I can help you to make the best move for you and your family. And if you aren't ready yet, well, you can check out other videos that I have about living in Lafayette and uh, feel free to reach out with any questions. But thank you guys so much always for your support and for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.